Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that first part, find the product a cube minus a square plus 1 the whole into 2a cube minus 5 the whole. Second part is simplify b square plus b cube into b plus 1 the whole. And third part is find the product 2x minus 1 the whole into 3 minus x the whole. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is the product law of exponents which is x raised to power m into x raised to power n is equal to x raised to power m plus n. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Let us start with the first part. Now in the first part we have to find the product a cube minus a square plus 1 the whole into 2a cube minus 5 the whole. Now we will use distributive property to multiply the two polynomials. Here we will multiply each term of first polynomial by the second polynomial. So this is equal to a cube into 2a cube minus 5 the whole minus a square into 2a cube minus 5 the whole plus 1 into 2a cube minus 5 the whole. Now to multiply the terms we will use the product law of exponents which we have discussed in the key idea. So this is equal to now a cube into 2a cube will be 2 into a raised to power 3 plus 3 which is 6. So this will be 2 into a raised to power 6. Now a cube into minus 5 will be minus 5a cube. Here minus a square into 2a cube will be minus 2 into a raised to power 2 plus 3 which is 5. So this will be minus 2 into a raised to power 5. Then minus into minus is plus and a square into 5 is 5a square plus 1 into 2a cube is 2a cube and 1 into minus 5 is minus 5. Now combining like terms we get now here minus 5a cube and plus 2a cube are like terms. So this will be 2 into a raised to plus 6 minus 2 into a raised to power 5 plus of minus 5a cube plus 2a cube the whole plus 5a square minus 5. Now this is equal to 2 into a raised to power 6 minus 2 into a raised to power 5. Now minus 5a cube plus 2a cube is equal to minus 3a cube and plus into minus is minus. So this will be minus 3a cube plus 5a square minus 5. So this is the required product. And now let us start with second part. Now in the second part we have to simplify b square plus b cube into b plus 1 the whole. Here in bracket we have b plus 1 
and only B cube is multiplied with it. So, we open the brackets by multiplying the terms and using the product law of exponents. So, this is equal to B square plus B cube into B plus B cube into 1 which is equal to B square plus now B cube into B will be B raised to power 3 plus 1 which will be B raised to power 4 plus B cube into 1 is B cube. Now here you can see that there are no like terms. So we cannot add these terms and this expression will remain as it is. And finally, we will write this expression or you can say we will write this polynomial in descending order of powers of B. So this will be equal to B raised to power 4 plus B raised to power 3 plus B raised to power 2. So this is the required answer for the second part. And now we will start with the third part. Now in the third part, we have to find the product 2x minus 1 the whole into 3 minus x the whole. Now here, we have to multiply the two binomials. So here, we will use the same method which we have used in first part. That is, here we will multiply each term of first polynomial by the second polynomial. So this is equal to 2x into 3 minus x the whole minus 1 into 3 minus x the whole. Further this is equal to now 2x into 3 is equal to 6x. 2x into minus x will be minus 2 into x raised to power 1 plus 1 which is 2 so it will be minus 2x square now minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 and minus 1 into minus x is plus x and now we will combine the like terms now here 6x and x are like terms so this will be equal to 6x plus x the whole minus 2x square minus 3 and this is equal to now 6x plus x is 7x minus 2x square minus 3 and now we will arrange this polynomial in descending order of powers of x so this will be equal to minus 2x square plus 7x minus 3 and this is the required answer for the third part so this completes our session hope you all have enjoyed the session